Hi, I'm Jeremiah Hersey, and today we're going to be talking about themes inside of the Power BI desktop, how to create your own custom theme, and then how to use that to import in so that way all of your reports look exactly the same. So let's take a look at the Power BI desktop and get started. So here we are in the Power BI desktop, and I have this basic report. So everything we're going to be talking about in this video is under the view ribbon. So at the top, the view ribbon. And in the themes section. So everything we're going to be talking about today is under the view ribbon in the theme section. So we have this current theme that is just by default. And you notice there's a default theme right here. But there's also a list of other themes that we could take advantage of. So there's a colorblind safe one, a high contrast. So just choose one and see what it looks like. So this is our high contrast and it looks pretty good. But let's say that we would like to modify this a little bit more. So once again, everything we're going to be doing is under the view ribbon in the theme section. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify this theme. So if you scroll down, you'll see that there's an option to customize the current theme. This brings up all the settings for the entire report. And so we can change the different colors. So notice that my bar charts and everything are currently green. So I could change that, let's say, to a blue. And notice, additionally, I can also change the text for the entire report. It's asking me to update the theme. I'll go ahead and update that. And so this is for the entire report page. So you can change the font style, the size. You can change it for the individual titles. Inside of this UI are going to change your entire report. And then you can save those customizations. So that way you can replicate the same thing over and over again. So under the visual section, we can put a background on our visuals. So our visuals are going to be blue because we changed the color. So let's maybe give it a lighter blue background. The transparency, if it's set at 50%, that's going to be 50% of that color. So it's going to be faded even more. So we're going to go ahead and put that all the way down to 0%. So I get that full color. Additionally, I can also put a border around my visuals. So I can turn a border on. Maybe change the color to a green. And the border radius allows you to change the curvature of the visuals. So you can have up to 30 pixels. And so the more pixels you have, the more curvature that you're going to see around your visuals. And we can change the page. So you can change the wallpaper. Or you can change the page background. Once again, that transparency, if it's set at 100%, you're not going to see anything. So let's say I want to give it, I'll go with the greenish themes here, set that transparency down to zero so you can see it. And then you can also adjust the filter pane, which the filter pane is right here. So you can adjust the color of the filter pane as well. So when we click apply, it's going to apply all of our changes. And we have a pretty decent looking report now. So let's say that this is the standard report. This is how we want it to look. So how do we save this theme? So once again, everything we're doing is inside the view ribbon under the theme section. So we're going to click the drop down and we're going to scroll down to where it says save current theme. So we're going to save the current theme. And I'll save this as my or theme and click save. So now as you bring in this JSON file, so if you can imagine you're working on a report or someone underneath you in your department is working on the report and you have this theme file. So now what you can do is you can send this theme file to them, this JSON file. And as they're working on the reports, they can upload this JSON file and it will modify their existing report to look exactly the way you want it to. So let's go ahead and take a look on how we could do that. So now that we've saved our theme, I'm going to default this back to our to a default theme. So it looks like we started. 
And so imagine the person is working on this report, then they're going to go to View Ribbon, the theme section, and they're going to click Browse for Themes. Okay, this is going to allow them to search for that file. Notice there is my theme right there and I'll click open. When I do this, it's going to render the whole report to look exactly as we specified. So the whole point of that JSON file saving that theme is so that you can replicate this same theme over and over again. You can see that we have those rounded edges, we have the green border, the teal background. So all of the customizations that we created inside of this are now applied to this report. So you can see how beneficial this can be. Well, I want to thank you for joining me uh, in the Power BI desktop learning about themes. I hope this helps you understand how to create your own theme for your business and replicate that theme in multiple reports over and over again without having to do too much work. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.